Earth. You are in it right now, unless you're an alien watching this video. If so, hi. The only planet which, as far as we know, harbors life in the universe, our life. Planet Earth is our home, and just like we know things about our houses and apartments, we should know a few things about our planet as well. A few of these might be very obvious and well known, but it's never bad to remind ourselves of them. So before we start, a disclaimer, I'm obviously not a scientist and have no in-depth knowledge about any of these things. This is just information that I got off of various sources like the NASA website amongst others. So here are 10 facts about planet Earth. Despite being called Earth, the land only makes up 29% of its surface. The other 71% are covered with water. And with global warming and the poles melting, this number may be going up in the future. It's no coincidence, it's also known as the blue planet. The way that land is disposed on the planet is also under constant change. On a minor scale, we have the creation of new islands due to volcanic eruptions, and on a major scale, we have continental drift. Starting off with Pangaea, a supercontinent that existed about 335 million years ago, being formed from other continental units, it is projected to have been located mostly in the southern hemisphere, being surrounded by a single super ocean. 175 million years ago, it started to break apart, creating the continents we know today. However, the continents keep moving apart, at an incredibly slow speed, but still moving. And it is projected that within the next 250 million years, the continents might once again unite themselves into a new supercontinent. Land and water are at the surface of planet Earth, but there's a lot more inside it. The Earth's core is made in part of molten iron, which creates a magnetic field. We could think of Earth like a big magnet, with its poles at the top and bottom, which might be one of the reasons why we turn them into our geographical poles, north and south. The magnetic field of Earth stretches out for thousands of kilometers, creating the magnetosphere. Apparently, heat creates convection motions of conducting materials to generate electric currents. And this magnetosphere is extremely important to our survival on Earth. Without it, the particles from the sun's solar wind would hit us directly, exposing Earth to a lot of radiation. Speaking of poles, let's talk about the shape of the Earth. For a long time, humans thought Earth was a perfect sphere. However, modern astronomy has proved otherwise. Earth is technically an oblate spheroid, which means it's a flattened sphere. And the points where it's flattened are the two poles, north and south, and the equator bulge, which happens due to Earth's rotation. This makes it so that the measurements of Earth from pole to pole are around 43 kilometers less than the diameter of Earth following the equator line. Next, time. The Earth doesn't actually take 24 hours exactly to rotate on its axis. The actual time is 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds for its full technical day to go by, known as a sidewall day. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Now, if the sun was standing still, these extra 4 minutes would eventually add up and completely mess up our schedules. But thankfully, the sun is moving as well. Sort of. Every day it moves one degree compared to the background stars, and that makes up for the four minutes, creating a total of 24 hours, which is technically known as a solar day, the amount of time that the sun takes to return to the same position in the sky. Keeping in the time theme, a year on Earth also isn't exactly 365 days long, it's actually 365 Point two four days. This is known as a tropical year, which is the time taken by Earth to make one revolution around the sun. And that's the reason why we have a leap year every four years, with an extra day in February to make up for those point two four days a year and set our calendar straight. Most of the Western world uses the Gregorian calendar, so we just add one day. But there are other ways of setting the calendar straight, like in the case of the lunisolar calendar, which adds an additional month added seven times each 19 years. 
These calendar adjustments allow us to synchronize our human calendar years with the astronomical years. Next, number six, Earth is old. According to researchers, very old. 4.54 billion years to be more precise. So the idea we have of old inhabitants of our planet like dinosaurs being so far away from us in time isn't that accurate. Well, it is when we think about it in human lives, but the dinosaurs are projected to have become extinct around 65 million years ago. And in the lifespan of the planet so far, that doesn't seem like very long ago. In fact, the first dinosaurs are said to have appeared 250 million years ago. So us as humans are closer to the last dinosaurs than those dinosaurs were to the first dinosaurs. There are a lot of interesting facts about dinosaurs, so if you want me to make a video on that, leave a comment below. Next, gravity. Gravity changes throughout the various planets, but even on Earth, it isn't entirely even. Since the globe isn't a perfect sphere, as we saw before, Earth's mass is distributed unevenly, and uneven mass equals uneven gravity. This means that depending on where you are on the globe, your weight could be different, or better put, your mass is the same, but the way that mass behaves is different. I'm not really sure, I'm not an expert on this, but according to the source I used, they say that someone who is 150 pounds in the equator would be 151 if they were in the North Pole. Speaking of the mass of the Earth, if we could separate the planet into its main components slash materials, you would get 32.1% of iron, 20% of oxygen, around 15% of silicon, as well as 13.9 magnesium. We should, however, keep in mind that most of this iron is located at the core of the planet, which is apparently 88% iron, most of it melted, causing the magnetic field which we talked about earlier. Number 9. According to a video by NASA Science, a recent paper has presented the hypotheses of Earth once having two moons, the current one which we know and love, and a second smaller moon. Keep in mind this hasn't really been proven, but it would justify the fact of the moon being strangely asymmetrical, having two very different sides. According to the two researchers who presented this theory, the two moons would have formed from the same debris cloud after a large object hit the earth millions of years ago. They say that this second moon eventually collapsed into the bigger moon, the one that we currently know, but at such a slow velocity that the impact didn't form a crater, but instead splatting onto the bigger moon, sort of becoming part of it and forming the outer side of the moon that we know. And last of all, an interesting coincidence about Earth Day. Earth Day is set on the 22nd of April. The first time it was celebrated was in 1970, which coincidentally was also the 100th anniversary of Lenin's birthday, leading to some people, mostly in the US since the Cold War was going on at the time, to denounce it as a communist plot. Something that wouldn't make a lot of sense since the original Earth Day was to be celebrated on March 21st and it was the United States who made its change to April 22nd. So that was a brief overlook at 10 interesting facts about the Earth. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment below and let me know any suggestions you have for future videos. If you want to support me and the channel, check out my Patreon and have access to exclusive content and a behind the scenes look by donating as little as $1. Remember to subscribe as well and I will see you in the next video.